Hi, I'm Heath Buckmaster here at KVIE, and we are so thrilled to be joined by Ethan Bortnick. He's the star of The Power of Music, his latest PBS special, and uh, we're glad to have you here in the studio with well, us today. Thank you for having me. So uh, you're the youngest person to ever have a PBS music special. Now you've got The Power of Music, which is being seen all across the PBS system. Uh, it's an amazing show, but I want to know what's next for you. What's the next big thing that's on, on your plan? Well, there's actually a lot of uh, big things that are, that are coming up. Well, first of all, we have, uh, we have this huge Power of Music tour throughout, you know, uh, throughout this year and mm -hmm. next year. And, uh, and it's really exciting, and I'm, I'm so excited to be doing it currently. And, uh, and, uh, and really, I'm, I'm the second probably most exciting thing is that I'm really providing a lot of new content for public television. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and first of all, we have uh, Ethan Presents, which is a little mini concert series. Uh, first, we did the Celebration of America, which is for military uh, and veterans. And, and it was a really nice, intimate concert. And we have a lot more coming up. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and also, one that I'm actually really excited about is a new uh, kids music uh, TV series. It's uh, one minute interstitials, mm -hmm. and uh, it'll teach kids about music, th you know, different things through music, and a lot more things. So I'm I'm really excited about that. Especially, uh, you know, I'm I'm really excited to bring you know, really music and arts to you know kids, mm -hmm. you know, that are pretty young. Well, so your, your Power of Music special, for example, you've got a large choir that performs with you when you tour and was on the show. Uh, what is it about bringing music to that young audience that really inspires you? Well, really, um, I, I think it's amazing how music is powerful. You know, it can change how people think. It can change how people feel. And I think it's amazing how, you know, uh, public television and KVIE in general, actually, brings music and arts to you know kids my age kids that are younger and really music inspired me and and you know to i if it wasn't for music i wouldn't be here right now uh and it's amazing how it can really just change you know and make people feel certain ways so i think it's so cool to bring it to you know younger people and and, and like I said, it inspired me, and it, I'm sure it inspires a lot of people in the world. So, what music inspired you as a kid? What, what was your What was type? your first first memory of? That's something I want to. I want to do that. I want to play that, or I want to sing that. Well, believe it or not, I can't remember what what I was doing. <laughs> what you know, uh, when I started, but uh, from what my parents tell me, and from what I see, you know, in the old videos, mm -hmm. well, not old, but. I mean, uh, you know, I, I see that really, I, I guess when I was listening to a lot of the music on radio and television, I was kind of just copying it. Mm -hmm. And it really didn't matter what it was, you know, if it was Mozart if, or if it was just like a little tune I heard, you know, from Sesame Street or something. And I, I would copy it on my little toy keyboard. And I would be so, you know, I was like, look what I can do. Oh mm -hmm. my God, this is so cool. And, uh, and then obviously later on I got lessons and, and learned how to play piano, you know, really learned how to play piano. Okay. But, but I guess there's not a type of music or specific thing that inspired me. I was just really amazed that I guess I could make, mu I could make music. Yeah, so many children uh, seem to be inspired at an early age through music programming. Uh, Sesame Street certainly is mm -hmm. very well known for bringing musical artists on there. And I think that's one of the great things of, that I've experienced from your show is it really is for all ages, whether it's a grandmother who brings their grandchild to see the show or that grandchild who can look at you and say, I, I, I want to do that. I could do that too. Yeah, I, I love seeing that because, you know, a lot of times you know, I'll, I'll get to see the audience maybe even after the show and, and say, maybe even say hi to them. And it's so cool to see that those people are, you know, coming to listen to music. But the coolest thing is that they're, they're together. You know, they're mm -hmm. listening to all different types of music. If it's classical, if it's jazz, if it's rock, if it's pop, whatever it is. 
they're all listening to the music and they're all enjoying it together, you know, as a family and enjoying, you know, different types of music and sharing it with, you know, the rest of their family if there's if it's their grandkids or their grandparents. Mm -hmm. And it's so cool to see, you know, those generations sort of sharing different music together. And and it really does bring everybody together and that is the power of music. Yeah, which, and uh, actually that that's really what you know, public television is all about, you know, sharing the music and arts to, uh, to so many different de generations. So. Well, we're certainly glad that you have taken time to share it with us, oh, and thank you absolutely. for being here today. Absolutely. I'm Heath Buckmaster. We're here with Ethan Bortnick, and he's celebrating the power of music on public television. Thanks for watching.